we want to introduce you to the Bully Dog Thruster. Bully Dog Thruster is Bully Dog's entrance into the throttle enhancement device market. What is this going to do? This is going to make your truck that is normally a turd and very laggy, make it have great throttle response and a lot more fun to drive. Now we're going to link you inside of this video to our unboxing video that shows you everything that you need to know about the Bully Dog Thruster, everything that comes in the box. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing it on 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Uh, I just drove this truck over here into the shop, and if there's anything in our parking lot that needs one of these, it's going to be this Jeep Thruster. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the install. Now, uh, before you start on your install, you want to go ahead and remove your negative battery cables. After that, you're ready to go. Shots on this are gonna be tight. Um, the APPS sensor on the Jeeps is very far up in the dash. There's not gonna be a whole lot we're gonna be able to show you there. We're gonna detach from the bipod, from the uh, uh, from the tripod. We're gonna show you where it is, but pretty much it's gonna be feel from there. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put our switch in the truck and, and get a little bit of assembly done here before we go after the uh, throttle position sensor. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just grab your main harness and your main harness is the harness that makes the connection at your throttle position sensor and it actually connects to the bully dog module so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hook the bully dog module up to this push it in until it clicks and the nice thing about this module it's small it's got mounting holes on it where you can just zip tie it up or mount, mount it permanently if you want to uh, you're you're good shape either way it goes now the switch, um, we're not going to permanently mount the switch in this truck. I have turned my Leatherman in. If you're watching this video and you work for the Leatherman company, I'm Wade McGinnis and I sent you my Leatherman up for warranty. I sure would like to have it back. It's been gone about a week now and I miss it so, I miss it so. Um, <clears throat> when you're, uh, what I like to do with the switch is I like to go ahead and place the switch in and then uh, go ahead and thread the wire through for you. So what I'm gonna do on this Jeep is I'm gonna put it right here underneath of the steering wheel and then I'll pull it up, you know, tight to the column to where it's not, it's not in our way or anything, but it still gives us access to uh, be able to uh, change the throttle level. Cause this, this device is shift on the fly. And all right, now. I can feed the switch through just like so. Sorry about that. I had a, I was having a tough time. So I, I'll just pull that up there and let that seat like that. And that way you've got access to it. This is, this switch is infinitely adjustable between zero and a hundred percent. You can switch it to off just like that. So now this gives us enough of our tag end here to come out and go ahead and plug it into our bully dog module itself. So there's everything wired up, switch, everything, your module. This just has to go to the throttle position sensor. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the camera from Adam and I'm going to show you with where the throttle position sensor is, but I'm gonna show you how the throttle position sensor will work on this. Should have enough with this online, just clips in. This is the red, uh, this is the red lock on it. You'll have to push the lock up to be able to get it out, but it's simple, you just, uh, to release it, there's a release lock right there, push on that and you're good to go. So let me take the camera from Adam, I'm going to move a light down here for some dynamic shooting. Look at this, power of technology, I guess you could say. So what you do when you're looking for your throttle position sensor is find your throttle on the vehicle, which is obviously the skinny pedal on the right. Take your hand on the skinny pedal on the right and you can just run it up until you feel a wiring harness and that will be your throttle position sensor. And I'm gonna to try to show it to you on this camera shot right here. Sorry, camera quit on us, but right here at the end of my finger is your connector for the wiring harness. I can see that kind of lines it up. So you just have to unconnect it from the throttle position sensor, sensor and then connect your wiring harness back to it so this side of the wiring harness right here this will go back to the pedal side and then the male side here this is going to go back to your stock wiring harness hey sorry about the picture being pretty crappy in this because the snow is kind of blinding on the camera but um 
So, bully dog thruster installed on this Jeep. And let me tell you, I said this when we uh, were doing this install. If there was ever a vehicle in our arsenal at Thoroughbred Diesel that needed one of these, it was this turd. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So, this is a 2013 Jeep Sport, and it's got, Adam says it's the 36 that's in it. Um, the throttle lag on this truck on this little truck is awful it was awful in stock form we put it in here we're on 50 percent right now and again this uh this bullet off thruster this is all shift on the fly it's a completely different vehicle it's just an absolutely different vehicle it's it's a lot more fun to drive you know this is still a seven almost eight year old truck um it just it drives like a new one. I mean, it really does. It's a, the throttle is the throttle response is almost effortless and instant. I really like it. I think of all of the vehicles that we've done throttles, throttle modifying devices on that have made a big, big change in them. This is probably the top one. So, bully dog thruster, thruster on the Jeep. We're definitely giving it a thumbs up. Install on this thing. You had to get underneath of the dash and get to the. Uh, throttle position sensor, of course. It was a little bit more challenging on this vehicle than any some of the other ones we've done. It's a little bit more compact, but we got it. No problem, got everything zip tied up, so we're definitely signing off on this. So we're going to link you inside of this video to our unboxing again, and we're also gonna link you to a place where you can go and you can purchase a Blue Dog Thruster for your vehicle. And if you have any questions on this, just give us a call, like and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.